Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get into some of the questions. Right. So welcome to the new members. Right. So there was a question here. Uh, don't, I can't remember who this was from. I think it might have been from, who is it from? Was it Vivi? I think it was. Basically, it said, um, I read an article saying that the market has priced in 50 basis points, 75 basis points, 100 basis points, etc. How to know exactly what is priced in by looking at a price chart? And it's not so much. Well, first of all, we need to understand what priced in is. When you when you hear or read the term, the market has priced in something. Basically, what they're saying is, is that everything that is known about that particular asset or currency, right, as we're trading currencies, everything that is known about that currency has been factored into the current price, yeah? And price isn't just okay just one price it's 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 price is generally or the market is an auction meaning that you know everyone's going to have different valuations of what they think um can everyone see my pencil by the way as well by the way can everyone see it the red pencil yeah yeah so if you're looking at this on a price chart yeah you know there are going to be that might be the value of you know, that's price and that's time. Yeah, this might be, you know, maybe 10 and this might be, for example, eight. Yeah. Now, when we when we speak about, um, you know, again, uh, uh, priced in the word the term priced in, let's just imagine that you we have bought a currency ahead of a central bank looking to high crates for the first time in let's say i don't know 10 years yeah and you know because we're fundamental analysis protagonists we um you know we're ahead of the curve and we can see what's happening all you know the environment is setting up for the central bank to look to high crates yeah they haven't announced it yet but they it looks like they're going to high crates yeah and so what we're trying to do, yeah, or what we're attempting to do all the time is we're trying, we're getting ahead of the curve. We know that the central bank, you know, hasn't uh, announced that they are potentially looking to high rates, but we know because of things like inflation, GDP, um, you know, that they are likely to, you know, start to high rates, yeah, because we know that obviously, you know, there's a 2% target, inflation target, and let's say, for example, inflation is is at maybe 3% and trending away from, you know, the, their, their, their mandated inflation target. GDP is growing. It's in the, you know, recovery expansion phase, right? That all lines up to say that, you know what, the central bank is likely to start to high crates. So we start to, you know, get ahead of the curve. Now, priced in means that, if prices are down here, maybe let's say they've been trending down or been going, you know, they've been ranging and auctioning and going sideways, what traders would know is, you know, prices going sideways or ranging. Let's say, for example, prices have been doing that for the past maybe month or two. And there's some data that suggests that, pro that the central bank is likely to high rates at some point, you know, in the next maybe few months, next quarter or two. Yeah. The market hasn't priced in the valuation of that hike yet yeah then let's say for example in, in this day and time the central bank comes out and you know indicates and signals that they are potentially looking to hike rates yeah at some sort of fomc meeting on a wednesday evening in, in the uk the the federal reserve come out and they say we we are you know um hawkish and it's likely that we may you know start to tighten monetary policy right tighten meaning um is is language for you know a hike in interest rates now all of a sudden the market starts to now price in what they think the dollar is worth in the future or by the time uh you know uh they actually do high rates which might be maybe a month or two or three yeah mm -hmm. So this is what pricing in yeah, is all about. Yeah? At the time down here, interest rates were not considered yeah, by generally the market. At this point in time, the Federal Reserve came out and said that they are potentially looking to hike rates at some point soon. 
yeah that has to be the valuation of that currency needs to be priced in because it can't stay down here can it it has to be well it depends on obviously which is the base and the quote currency whether that's the same for example that's uh dollar yen yeah pricing in means that it's you know the, the everything that now is supposed to be known about the um the monetary policy of the uh, US dollar has to be priced in. And by the time you get to the actual rate hike, yeah, potential rate hike, yeah, the information has already been priced in. And so when, you know, it's priced and being priced in doesn't necessarily mean that it's just one single price. It doesn't mean that it's basically nine or whatever it is. Different traders will have different valuations. Some traders and institutions will say, well, we think that, you know, the dollar might be worth, you know, at, at an expensive area, maybe somewhere, somewhere like that. Um, some traders might say that maybe, you know, eight might be, you know, a bit of a bargain. But at some, but this is where the, the, the valuation where price um, or the term priced in, the news has been priced into the market, it comes from, and that's the logic behind it. And the money is made on the rumor getting ahead of the curve. And by the time you, you know, the rate hike does happen, it has been, you know, priced in. Does everyone understand that? And I think that was also as a, um, a question from Rishi as well. And how do we know exactly by looking at price? I mean, we won't know looking at exact price. Nobody typically knows, but we can, I guess, understand via time. You know, the closer we typically get to an announcement is the more likely it is that the event has been priced in. The rate hike has been priced in, especially if you see, you know, price do a, a certain move. Right. It's been trending in a certain direction for, you know, a couple of weeks, a couple of months before before the event. That's how you would know. And then towards the actual event, that's where you get, you know, the pricing in now. Just taking that slightly further, the next step would then be where, what the market is then waiting for is for further guidance from the central bank because it already knows that the central bank is going to hike rates by a certain amount, whether it's you know 0.25% or 25 basis points, however you want to say it. Yeah, the market has already baked in this rate hike into the current price valuation where price is so then if the central bank come out and say things like oh well we're going to continue hiking for the next you know for the foreseeable future and they're likely to be bigger hikes yeah then the market has to price in that you know that that statement yeah and it will start to price in the statement if the central bank come out and say oh well you know what we're going to have a wait and see moment and we're, we're going to be data dependent maybe not so much maybe the market won't you know react off of that news until more data you know comes out supporting the fact that it will you know um uh, that is positive and that will support a potential rate hike yeah if the central bank come out and say well now we're only going to be rate hiking once and then we're done then it's likely that prices will you know continue to remain you know in that auction that range um again unless for example the the central bank of japan for example aren't doing anything or if they're looking to high crates they turn around and say they're going to high crates then what should happen right then you might see something like this happen because then the valuation of the dollar yeah was was uh, i guess derived from the fact that maybe the Federal Reserve were hiking rates and the Bank of Japan wasn't. If the Bank of Japan then turn around after the uh, dollar has hiked rates and say, well, they're going to look to hike rates in the next couple of months, then unfortunately, I'll say, oh, I'll say oh, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on which way you want to buy or sell, um, you know, the, the, the value of the dollar can't be here because that was based, that valuation was based off, off of the, the, a hike in rates for the dollar and a hold in rates on the yen. If the yen now starts up, high crates, then there's going to be another valuation, right? It might not be all the way down here, but it might be slightly lower. Yeah. Does that all make sense, by the way? Um, Adamola says, uh, with your explanation, this means that the effect of rate hikes 
would have shown in the market before absolutely added molded. That's basically what the point I'm getting at. That's exactly the point I'm getting at. You're buying the rumor. You know the phrase, buy the rumor, sell the fact? Yeah? It's because the, the rumor was that they were hiking rates. The rumor pushes prices up here, and then and then that rumor has been priced into the market. Everything that is known, yeah, about, you know, the rate hike and the that should be in the valuation of the dollar, yeah? And then by the time it comes out, the money's been made. And the valuation has been set. And then we look towards future value, depending upon what the central bank is likely to do in the future. And then there's obviously things like, you know, you know, there's a, there's accumulation. I don't really want to use that word. It's more to do with, um, uh, you know, there's liquidity, right? The market makes it to provide liquidity for banks. And so you might get a period where, prices will pull back but ultimately all that is is just basically the um you know the institutions buying for cheaper because they don't want to buy expensive areas you know they're looking to accumulate and then we're off to the races again yeah so that is basically what priced in means so every so take take it as as i guess a gospel Typical, anyway, I wouldn't say uh, gospel, but I don't know what I'm using. It's, it's a high probability that the closer you get to a, um, a, a massive news event, like, for example, um, you know, anything to do with GDP, interest rates and inflation, that, you know, in any central bank speeches, that it would have been priced in. Now, what's interesting is that, and I'll, I guess I wanted to talk about the euro a little bit later, but I'll talk about it now because it's a bit relevant. So ECB, the European Central Bank, are actually looking to the, the, the consensus is that, you know, what has been priced in over the past couple of weeks is a 75 basis point hike. Yeah. Now there's been reports that actually they may not hike by 75 basis points and they actually might do 50 basis points. Yeah. So the recent rally in the euro, yeah, um, was based off of the fact that there was rumours that they probably have to hike, you know, uh, have a bigger hike than um, maybe the 50 basis points. As I said, now it's it might be this. I don't know if anyone's seen or read some of the reports surrounding um, uh, that analysis, but let me get into it if you haven't. And... You know, one of them is from uh, MUFG, right? Which is, you know, they always come out with, um, uh, you know, a brilliant uh, scenario analysis. I, I like looking at their analysis. And if you're new to this, just quickly, what they do is they give you um, uh, basically their, uh, I guess, their, their best and worst case for price for the euro dollar or, or the affected currency or the major currency, depending on the central bank. And so they're saying that their base case, right, they think that the European Central Bank is going to be moderately dovish. And this is based on inflation, their inflation outlook, yeah, growth outlook, interest rates, quantitative easing. And then at the end, they think that the euro dollar at the moment is around that, you know, 99 cent area. And if they if they are, if they do fall into this category, and this is what they do say about inflation, growth, interest rates, and quantitative easing, then the euro dollar is likely to probably come down to you know the 98 cent area. If they are moderately hawkish, let's say, for example, and this is basically saying that they think that on interest rates, there is a they think that it's going to be a 50 basis point hike. So maintaining a fully data dependent approach. Yeah. Data dependent meaning that um they are going to look for data, uh, wait for the data to um, um, to come out and then make their decisions based on the data rather than it just being kind of what maybe what the Fed are doing, which is even though they said it, that they're going to be data dependent, I think the Fed are more just, you know, it's a foregone conclusion that they're just looking to hike as much as possible at the moment. If, they, uh, mod if they're moderately hawkish, yeah, if they come out moderately hawkish, meaning that they have a potential 75 basis point hike and projections show negative growth only in the quarter four of 2022 and inflation to remain elevated for longer than previously forecasted if that's what they communicate yeah then they think that the price of the euro dollar should rise to maybe you know uh, uh one to parity yeah and then if they're very hawkish 
then they see a bit of a ceiling of 102.